Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for uh, attending. It means so much to me. And this session is very, very special because what we're going to be focusing on over the next two days are the fundamentals of pharmacology from each of the organ systems. And I'm going to start out today by just giving you a little bit of an introduction to the course. This is going to be a jam-packed session. So make sure that you're able to uh, uh, tune in, see uh, where we are in the notes. I want you guys to really, really hone in on uh, the key points. All right. So for many of you, this may be the first time that you have heard of Hi Guru or heard of by name, uh, but I formally just wanted to say hello. My name is Rahul. I'm currently doing my fellowship in pediatric critical care medicine. And over the past six years, I've just been absolutely passionate about helping students prepare for and excel on the USMLE exam. And I am very excited to have this webinar because it's an exclusive webinar. It's a one of a kind webinar that is really going to take your score, hopefully to the next level. So I first off wanted to just highlight the reason why this course is so important and especially why did I even make this course? This is the USMLE content outline. And when we're talking about the USMLE content outline, guys, the content outline has specifications as to what different disciplines are on the actual exam. And as you can see, pharmacology accounts for about 16 to 23% of your USMLE exam. And as you all know, in November and December 2020, the USMLE bulletin stated that, hey, number one, we're going to have a lot more ethics and physician communication exam questions. And secondarily, they stated that many of the step one questions are going to transition from what is the likely pharmacotherapy to what is the most likely mechanism. And with these two facts, this sparked my kind of inner passion to say, hey, let's go ahead and make a session that is focused on pharmacology for the USMLE. So when you're thinking about pharmacology questions on the USMLE, it boils down to some of these question stems. Number one, what is the mechanism of action? Number two, what, are, what is the side effect of this medication? And that's gonna be really important and we'll go through this uh, in detail. And number three, how does this pharmacological agent modulate the pathophysiology. Guys, if you think about it, remember, a pathophysiology is going to have a certain mechanism. And the pharmacology modulates the mechanism behind the pathophysiology. So this is an advanced concept, but we're going to really dive in deeper throughout this course. One of the key things that I want to highlight is this whole question stem of what is the most likely side effect? And one of the key strategies that I'm going to be giving you is that whenever in a question stem on your NBME or USMLE exam, you see three or more pharm pharmacological agents, you should be thinking of one of two things. Number one, the USMLE is going to be testing you on a drug interaction. Maybe this is going to be like a SIP question, CYP enzyme. Number two, the USMLE may be asking you to recognize and extrapolate important side effects. So this is going to be a sample question that we are going to have today. But what I want you all to focus on is the fact that, hey, this question stem has this line. Her medications include atorvastatin, nitroglycerin, levetiracetam, omeprazole. Which of the following medications may increase the risk of the patients admitting diagnoses. And as you can see here, guys, they want you to really understand and assess, hey, out of all of these medications, which one is going to have the side effect behind the likely diagnosis? Hint, it's gonna be omeprazole, but we'll get into the weeds with that uh, coming up. And so, if you're going to be talking about mastering pharmacology, not only today, but throughout your dedicated study up until test day, 
you want to approach pharmacology from a pathophysiologic standpoint. And so today's course, we're really going to combine concepts from sketchy and concepts from pathoma and integrate it together. Now, this course will not have any silly pictures for me to explain the concepts. You can go to other resources for that. This course is not going to have too many crazy different mnemonics because you can go ahead and integrate your own mnemonics. But what this course will have are the fundamentals of pathophysiology and how pharmacology relates to it. And I'm going to be teaching pharmacology in a very integrative way. One of the key models that I wanted to highlight for you before we get started is this reverse pyramid model. And now this reverse pyramid model is really important. And the reason why is because the reverse pyramid model allows for us to take the pharmacological agents from a big picture and narrow it down into a focused view. So what we'll first do is we'll say, hey, what does the whole class of medications do? What is the mechanism of action? Then what we'll do is we'll go back and talk about the pathology, the pathophysiology, and really relate the mechanism of action and the big picture to the pathology and pathophysiology. Then we'll narrow it down and we'll talk about the specific names of the agents. And then finally, we will be talking about the side effects because as you know, sometimes the side effects are gonna be specific to the various agents within the class. The other big picture point, which I wanna give you is this emphasis on micro learning. So let's go ahead and read the bottom statement here. Anytime you see a pharmacological agent in a question during your studying, hey, even if you're just walking down the drugstore and you see a pharmacological agent, in the moment, right then in time, I want you to recall the mechanism of action. Now, if you don't know it, just a quick Google search will help solidify that in your mind. But this whole element of in the moment learning, what I call micro learning, is going to be really important. So remember the same question vignette we had, the way that I read this is her medications include atorvastatin, okay, that's an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor, nitroglycerin, okay, that is going to be an agent that increases nitric oxide, levetiracetam, that's going to be a sodium channel blocker, and omeprazole, ah, that's going to modulate primary active transport. And so as you develop this habit and you do it on a consistent basis, you end up having a repetition of these pharmacological agents, and that makes it second nature for you. All right, before we go into this course, I do want to uh, turn your attention to some key features of this course. Throughout today, we will be going through about 300 questions, both in an active recall style, as well as multiple choice. And so what this course is going to be is essentially a hybrid of doing questions and content at the same time. And that's the whole reason why I founded this project, Hi Guru, is to make sure that you can integrate questions and content at the same time. You'll see a slide like this pretty common throughout your handout as well as uh, today's presentation. And when you see a slide like this, this slide will have a multiple choice question that we will go through. And more importantly, what I'll be able to do is essentially go through my thought process of the question. And then I'll give you about 10 seconds to put into the chat what you think the answer is. This is going to be another key feature of the course. And that is going to be a question breakdown. So right after the multiple choice question, we're going to do a question take home message. So what is all that all about? Well, I'm gonna tell you, hey, this question relates to this organ system. This is a multimedia type of question. This is a psychiatry type question, pharmacological mechanism. What this question was really testing you on, the paraphrase of the vignette, which essentially is the quick synopsis of the vignette. And then I'll push your mind and give you a little bit of an active recall question that says, hey, if you knew the question, let's just take it to the next level. And so that's what I call the step beyond question. And this is how we're going to be going through a lot of the multiple choice questions. I also put in a three-step pathophysiological diagram that explains 
many different syndromic pathologies. For example, neuroleptic malignant syndrome or serotonin syndrome. I will break it down into three simple steps. And throughout the course, if you do see this yellow box, this yellow box contains key NBME pointers. For example, watch for triggers in exam questions, i.e., ah, they went for surgery and bam, they got malignant hyperthermia. So these small little uh, boxes are just those quick golden nuggets that you should integrate from a test taking standpoint. I encourage you all to follow along with me throughout the session with your handout. And again, most importantly, if you miss something, don't panic, don't worry. I want you to, in the next couple of days, revisit this session and go through the material one more time so that it can become second nature to you. The goal of this live session today is to not pick up every single detail at the first time, but it is to figure out where the gaps in your knowledge are, are and secondarily give you that big picture overview because this is just a unique way of going through pharmacology. The second thing that I want to tell you is the fact that as you're going through the handout, make some pointers here and there, something that you really want to go back and review, because then you'll be able to make connections between material. All right, so let's go through an overview of both days. Day one, which is today, we're going to be going through neurology, psychiatry, pulmonary, reproductive, and GI. And here it is, bam, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. And that homework is to make a custom question block in UWorld. And I'll give you the question IDs later on today, and they will be attached in your uh, uh, notes packet for uh, tomorrow as well. All right, so overview of both days. Now we'll go into what we will cover today. We're first going to be starting with neurology, and we're going to be covering anesthesia, Parkinson's drugs, and Alzheimer's drugs. Remember, Parkinson's drugs, they are going to be all related to dopamine. Alzheimer's drugs, they're all going to be related to acetylcholine. Antipsychotics are going to be antidopaminergic. Antidepressants, when in doubt, put SSRIs. We're going to be talking about asthma medications. Remember, it's all about bronchodilation and reducing inflammation. Pulmonary hypertension, we're going to need to decrease pulmonary vascular resistance. Anti-allergy, we're going to be blocking the H1 receptor, very high yield for us to know. And then we're going to transition into reproductive, in which we're going to be talking about estrogen agents and testosterone agents. And finally, we're going to end with gastroenterology, because that's the end of the day, and that's going to be around lunchtime, and we're all going to be hangry by the end of it, right? And we'll talk a little bit about acid suppression. All right, final tips for your success. Here we go. Number one, make sure you're cutting out distractions. This session is all about focus. And what I encourage you all is to focus on where you want to be, not where you were yesterday or even where you are today. Focus on your ideal self. Secondarily, I do want to let you know that I will be at the top of the hour, giving us a little bit of a break so you can recharge, refuel. So if this session goes a little bit longer, we will take some breaks throughout just so that you're optimized and I'm not flooding you with content. And then finally, I do want you all to turn your chat box to panelists and attendees and keep your chat box open throughout the whole session so that you can type in answers. Most importantly, at the breaks, I will be going through the questions. So try to save your questions till the end, but if not, no problem whatsoever. Put it in the chat box and I will make sure to bank it during the break, okay? All right, wonderful. One of my final tips for success is to recognize that growth is going to occur outside of your comfort zone. Here's your comfort zone low risk, low reward. But as we go into the learning zone today, we are going to be extending our comfort zone. We're going to be acquiring new skills. We're going to be facing challenges, problem solving. And then eventually by tomorrow, you're going to be in the growth zone. 
the growth zone is, hey, now I have purpose for studying for this exam. I'm going to be setting some new goals. I'm going to be conquering some learning objectives in pharmacology. This is going to be key for us throughout these days.